Wow, what a roller coaster of a week. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to Media Academy Online's Entertainment News, the show that gives you all your entertainment news weekly. Hello and welcome to this week's episode. We've got uh, a lot to talk about again. It's another, another big week, another big week of things that happened. We're going to be talking a little bit about the uh, American government again. They've made their way back into the entertainment world. Uh, let me begin by explaining the story so we can all be caught up of what's going on here. It all begins with President Trump where he decided to uh, use the Trump card, basically made a ruling against TikTok. Old Donnie Powell. Anyway, he made a ruling saying that it's uh, unsafe and that they're uh, collecting a lot of data from people. They've been caught out many times actually stealing data outside of the actual TikTok app, copying anything you type into other applications, which is scary. I'm, I feel I'm a bit old for TikTok anyway, I don't know, if you're on Tic Tac, good on you, but I'm not personally on Tic Tac. So, all the young'uns are on there, I'm me, an old guy, I'm just an old man, I'm too old for that. I'm too old for Tic Tac. The owners of this app, ByteDance, is a Chinese company and they're worried that all of our data is being collected and given to the uh, Chinese Communist Party. Here in Australia, we've had the exact same uh, debate within the uh, government we're also a part of this conversation so let's let's keep it going I'm getting a bit carried away here I'm going on tangents right back onto track back onto back onto the road here I am getting distracted again right uh, they made a ruling they said no nah, no more of this TikTok Microsoft were like hey what if we buy them what if we buy their operations within America and three other countries that being Australia shout out to Australia New Zealand and Canada it's effectively all the countries that have been a bit worried about this uh, app in the first place and how they're collecting all this data from unaware citizens of those respective countries. And then Trumpo was like, right, you've got 45 days. It's got to be done. You have to have it bought, done. Stamped on the, on, the, on the line, has to be done in 45 days. And then Trumpo was like, we might extend this to all of the other Chinese operated companies. And this is where other companies like Tencent get involved. Tencent own a lot of various companies. Um, so, and one of those being the creators of League of Legends, Riot Games. We could potentially see all of these games get banned in the US. Might happen, don't think it'll happen. There's a lot of conversation. But also Tencent also are a big funder of Hollywood films. So yeah, this is what's happening. Uh, America's like, we don't like these Chinese companies, these Chinese apps. What are your thoughts on this new Tic Tac ban? If you're a fan of Tic Tac getting banned or getting bought out, and also what are your thoughts of potentially these other Chinese companies uh, also getting, getting their, their head on the chopping block? The chopping block of uh, Trump, Trump chopping. I'm really getting carried away with this conversation today. Right, second bit of news. This is a really interesting one. This is a Disney. Disney are trying something new. They say this is a one-off, but uh, we know you guys. Once business finds a achievement, once they find a new model, they will go after that model. Effectively, all of Hollywood are holding on to their films that were meant to already be released because this virus has destroyed, effectively, the cinema. Uh, world at the moment. And nothing can be shown and if it can you're looking at really small audiences. People aren't willing to go and see movies plus there is huge limits on the audience sizes. For instance in some cases like here in Australia you can only have 25% filled seating at a cinema. So Disney came up with this new idea that they're going to do this once off, once off, where they basically want to release uh, Mulan, a film that I've been talking a lot about already, now what they're going to do is they're actually going to release it on Disney Plus. But, this is where it gets interesting, it's not only getting released on Disney Plus, but you also have to pay an extra $30 to be able to buy it. They're making it available as almost like a DLC, they're going to plug in an extra, but you have to, A, already have a membership, already have a subscription with Disney Plus, and then B, spend another 30 buckaroonies to be able to get access to it. Would you be interested in watching Milan as part of Disney Plus for an extra 30 bucks on top of what you're already paying? 
Personally, I think it's a little bit too steep. I'm not willing to do it because I'm a single person and so I have no one else I need to pay for. So I'm comparing this to what I'd pay to see it in the movies. In the movies, I'd probably see it for 15 bucks, 20 bucks. But if I do it this way, I have to spend 30 bucks to be able to see it at home without all of the extra experiences that come with seeing it at the cinemas. I don't think it's worth it personally for me, but if you are a family and you have to spend money for four other people and you might end up spending 150 bucks for a night time out with all the popcorn and all the other expenses that come with going and seeing an experience at the cinemas, maybe it might be worth it for you. This isn't, hasn't been done before. This is a new trial. They say they're only gonna do it this once because they wanna get the film out and released and try and at least make some of their money back. Is it gonna do well? Don't know. Do you think it'll do well? You let me know in the, in the comments down below. And also hit that like button. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell. Be awesome. And I'll see you, I'll see you next week in the next one. See you later. Ba -ba 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 -ba